Weeby and I went to the Hilton All Inclusive in Tulum and we thought we'd make a video about the resort. And all the good food. When you first arrive, you walk into an open air lobby and you are offered a welcome drink. There is a desk that you make your dinner reservations at and you can also go to that desk to book your spa appointments. After you've checked in and you've been given your room number, they will take you around with a cart to your room because the resort is so spread out you're gonna use that cart service quite a bit to get from A to B. Yeah, like one end to the other. It's, it's really spread out along the uh, like the beach area, so you have to go from point A to, all, like all the restaurants are over in one area, so they pick you up from your room all the way. So the resort is cool. It gives, they give you a bracelet on check-in, and that bracelet's used for everything, including your room key and access to all the resort amenities. Our room was upgraded to a suite. Yeah, we have the Hilton Aspire, and um, that gives you just extra Hilton points, and whenever I travel through work, we accumulate them, and so it's really easy to just get a free room. Yeah, and we get upgraded on occasion, so that's pretty nice. Around the resort, there's some shopping that you can do. Uh, you can get souvenirs, you can book photo packages if you would like, you can book uh, tours. There's also a gym that has free classes. We didn't really check out we the gym very much. We never used the gym once. <laughs> <laughs> we had great intentions. We thought we were gonna use it and we never did. So at the tour desk, you can book different excursions around Tulum. We will have a separate video of the day that we went out on our tour that we did book. Lobby pool has events like exercise classes and evening shows and it has a pretty nice beachfront. Um, there's also like a volleyball area and that kind of thing. resort is the kids area there is like playground equipment and a really large pool that I kind of called it the kids pool and we actually hung out quite a bit at that pool because they had a lot of like misters in the pool for the setups and so it was really nice to kind of lay beside the pool and it felt cooler because you were getting misted on and it just so happened to when we went there wasn't 
a whole lot of families, I guess. No. And so we kind of had that area like to ourselves. Weirdly, there wasn't very. It was many a people. lot less crowded than the main pool. We visited the spa. It's the Conrad Hilton Spa. Um, because the Conrad Resort is right next, next door. door to ours, so they share a spa. It was incredibly beautiful, the setup that they had. There is a large pool that you can uh, utilize before your spa time. <laughs> so we did like a couple's massage and it was really good. It was really nice, but I did think that it was a little, I'm just not used to the spa experience because they, they separate the men and women and you go into your own little area and it had like the the freezing cold water dunk part <laughs> and then you jump into like the sauna and then the like hot steam room and all those rooms. It's just a little weird for me. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's a fun experience. While we were there, there was quite a bit of a seaweed problem. And so that can be kind of hit or miss. And I don't think there's any way of knowing. Um, yeah, I would definitely look ahead of time because it kind of made the beach inaccessible and the, the whole resort was actually kind of smelly at times, <laughs> um, which is awful to say because it's a beautiful resort. Yeah. But um, it's not Hilton's fault. Yeah, you can't control it. Yeah. They did the best that they could with and managing it. We did get a kick out of watching the workers every day trying to clean up this endless amount of seaweed. Yeah, those poor guys, yeah. that was rough. <laughs> so there's several restaurants. Um, we ate at the buffet several times for like breakfast and lunch. And then we had maybe dinner once at, maybe, yeah. at the buffet. It's your typical, just buffet style food. selections of restaurants and different food varieties. If you want to book uh, a night for the restaurants, you have to reserve a time and you can do that at the lobby. Uh, there's no walk-ins. The Asian restaurant was really good. Um, the rice that they served as an appetizer was delicious and it was really fun because you can always choose something different uh, even if you're unsure if you're going to like it because it's all-inclusive and you can trade it out for something different. restaurant is pretty cool because they have a walkout uh, balcony area that we ate at and so you can kind of watch the sunset yeah, like, for dinner. It like overlooks the main pool and then the ocean beyond. And so our, that was fun. And our waiters brought us shots so. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe that made the night a little better. I don't know. <laughs>
your favorite was the steakhouse though. I think the steakhouse is always my favorite at any all-inclusive we ever go to. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. the coffee shop that they have we would get breakfast there sometimes just like a banana and coffee that kind of thing but they also had um, ice cream and little mm -hmm. pastries and little sandwiches that you could uh, pick up and take poolside but our favorite was the poolside restaurant on the kids side of the resort yeah. Um, we ate there for lunch, like probably almost times. every day. Oh, almost every day, just because their um, like street style tacos were extremely good. They had nachos, and that was absolutely our favorite. Um, but there's so yeah. many options that you can choose from as far as the food is concerned that uh, you're never going to have a problem. Overall, the resort is beautiful and we had a really good time. The employees were extremely kind. Um, the food was really good quality. Uh, it's, it's practically a brand new resort still and so it's just beautiful. Yeah. So keep an eye out for our next video. It's going to be the day that we went on our tour. And um, there's some highs and lows. <laughs> Weeby's not a water person. No, and we did the like Part of it was swimming with turtles, and uh, yeah, I, I that was scared. I was scared. <laughs> so you'll have to subscribe, follow along, and then we have some fun trips coming up for this year. We're going to be going on an Alaskan cruise with Royal Caribbean that we're pretty excited about. Yep. And, and then we're doing a road trip down through uh, Oregon and to Oregon coast, and then um, seeing the redwoods in California. Yes.